Alrighty, new version here. Let's check this out. Pa-pow! 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 <laughs> All right. You are mentioning here that you had a lot of keys, so you decided to start over. It would be easier for me that for the first character added the fighting pose at the end. Hope it works. The timing is a bit slower. I would say it's a bit too slow. It is it's a bit tricky because it is in the reference. He's just kind of waiting. And this now, this is a bit too floaty where you have this pose then kind of drags up into this pose. I mean, you could also... Not to make this more complicated, but almost have like a half step backwards and then have him in a different pose to get into this and he's bracing for it. But I don't know. It's, to be honest, I'm a bit stumped. I should come up with something, but right now this just feels like he's so ready. Now, let me throw out a stupid idea, right? What if this guy... Just kind of stands there, pose like this, head like that, looking, you know, the other way, cigarette in his mouth, hands in his pockets, just kind of waiting. And then this guy goes, pa -pa! <laughs> just for no reason. This makes it stupid. You might get away from him just kind of waiting to get hit. And it makes him a, a massive jerk for doing that. Maybe he doesn't like smokers. Some to think about. And then you can still have a potentially a way of then getting into this pose into this drop. Just something to think about. Maybe maybe you have some other ideas where what if what if this character is just maybe you know if there's like a light pose and he's just kind of standing in this position here like that, but legs out again, hands in pockets. Maybe there's a hat looking down, smoking. He just kind of waits. For something, ba -pow, and this happens. I don't know. Throwing out stupid ideas. Why not? That's because right now this is a pose, and kind of drifts into the next pose, and it is kind of weird. But I'm just concerned that if you make him, you know, arms out, arms out, and then arms in, into kind of like getting ready, is that potentially too much and distracting from this? That's my that's my concern. That's why I'm leaning towards not moving this character, making this kind of like a funny, stupid shot. But it's just something to think about as you as you want to give this a bit more life, as opposed to just two poses there, to not steal the focus away from this guy. This guy, on the other hand, feels nice and smooth. Pa -pa. It's all great. Pa -pa. I think we can potentially have one more bit of a straighter leg there. You want to really that feel of even a drag a bit in that foot there, and a bit drag, and then pa -pa into this. Get some teeth coming out here. Watch out, your arms are do they do come up almost the same height pretty much and at the same time you have a one two frame offset there on these. And then if you look at the spacing of this head coming forward, 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 boom, and now bam, like it hits a wall. Bam. So you gotta watch out for the spacing on that a bit. On something like this, you might go uh rotate the hip over. So this is leading, this side of the hip is leading. So watch out wire rotation on the hip there. Ba -bow. Especially on this. Forward and a bit like that. All the weight is more on this. Until it recovers and then the weight gets onto this. Speed wise, this feels slow. Once we get to around here. Oh, I think it's better. It doesn't have that, that super sudden slowdown as before. I think it could just be a tad faster. Now I say tad faster. Let's go crazy here. What playback? What is the speed increase? There's no percentage, so I can't tell you. That drop feels a bit better at that speed. There, I say, just a bit, bit faster on that drop. But then on this, on that impact, once this leg is in and on this connects, I will bring down that arm. You know, smack that arm down a little bit more, a little bit of compression on that head down you want to feel how dropping leg compression 
as in we're falling and now this leg is stopping the rest to continue to fall but then this would all fold over this leg but now we have forward motion so on that rotation there so we can't really but you want to feel that impact of this leg pound of this and you want to cut as soon as we don't have bong and then you have dead frames at the end and by dead frames at the end whoops i mean this here scrolling into nothing but then also probably offsetting those arms so they don't come together at the same time a little bit of thing a little bit of tweak at the end there all right that's that and then there is reference i don't know if there's sound no okay Oh, <laughs> oh, look at that drag in the head. What is wrong with those people? Oh, that's just injury. And you can see that face like, oh, this was not what I expected. Ba -bong. Holy macro. Okay, I'm, I'm curious. So this is all for this. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I got to look at your notes here. Okay, I paused it and came back. You got some notes. So the bouncing ball is... Where is this here? Use the bouncing ball as the main character. Okay, so this would be a character skipping. So you are saying that this character is going to be this character giving this pose, I'm assuming, right? Skips, param, 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 which is this reference. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Then, let's bring this out of frame here. Man skipping happily, suddenly he sees something scary off screen. Which is this, right? Stops, turns around, and this thing comes in. Ball with legs. A little monster appears, jumping towards the man, then hits him in the back, and then falls to the ground. Boom! See, the tricky thing is, how about this? It all seems a bit random. That being said, why not? This could be the world and that's how it is. But even if this character is just skipping around, which could be fun in some interesting setting, you have to look at, you know, is this... You have this space person skipping. Again, it's I know it's all about the animation, but I, I got to think about some context potentially in terms of the set where we are. I know that's not super, super important, but I always kind of like to think about the set. It might give you some ideas. But imagine the space guy is jumping, stops, turns around... And this character comes in and kicks him. The thing is, by now, we are so far away. We have overlapping characters. Because you're, this space person is going to be here, right? And with this hitting the back, like the silhouette of this is going to be fairly bananas. As opposed to this, where this is very clear. So it's almost like you're going to, you would have to have... It's almost like you need the opposite, to be honest. So, what I would suggest... Imagine... We have... It all leads towards like that, and then we have this, and then there's a wall here on the horizon here. So imagine, your space guy is actually close to camera up here. Jump, skip, jump, skip, jump, skip, and then... HA! Ball with legs jumps over here. Guy freaks out, ah! Rump jumps back, this guy follows, and then we have exactly the angle of the reference of this guy here, this guy jumping and hitting him with his legs, falling down. To me, that would be a better angle to sell things. And then you will see a big action up front as he skips, and little guy comes around the corner, comes back, and again, the action up front here towards the camera. Um, there's definitely a lot of work. You're asking if it is also too ambitious. Um, it's definitely a lot of work. Looking at your previous shots, uh, the amount of time and, and the updates, like how it's progressing. Uh, I'm a fan of, of people pushing themselves in terms of really trying something new and pushing and learning something. At the same time, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a lot of work. You got the mechanics of this. You have the mechanics of... Pantomime acting, stopping, the weight of it all, turning around and coming back, which is a different type of run, panic. On top of that, this character coming in, jumping, and then the jump. 
the jump hit on the neck and then the mechanics of the fall because the character is not standing like that like in the reference it's going to be a walk run on top of the being hit so that fall is going to be also fairly dramatic it's just a lot of lot of work auto mechanics wise that being said why not so you have the reference you can combine it together um and you might kick butt and it's gonna be awesome so i don't want to say no but i'm going to say it's going to be a lot of work so i'm going to leave it at that and then leave it up to you i would just suggest what i said here in my crew drawings that this would be kind of the idea that we're up here walking over here freaking out here because this character appeared Ta -da! it comes back towards us and this follows and then bam the head is here all right i hope that makes sense let me know if not email me and we can go through uh discussions and stuff like that all righty thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you